think what's exciting to me is the, the potential to really create more physiologically relevant systems. We've heard time and time again over the years that customers are looking for better ways to model biology and we think that 3D is potentially a way to do that. The excitement around this field and the excitement around 3D culture has really almost made me want to jump back into the lab just because I think it's a really exciting time to be in cell culture research. In our body, no cell is attached to a plastic plate, right? They are really in three dimensions. So when we are doing this 3D culture, it really mimics the morphology of the tissue. The most exciting part about 3D to me is the potential that we have. I think there's still a lot of things about 3D that we don't understand. 3D definitely changes things like morphology and cell behavior. And so I think 3D is gonna open up a lot of new doors to make new discoveries. Until now, we've really only been able to use animal model systems as a proxy or, or as a surrogate for, for human development, but being able to use a, a, a pluripotent stem cell is a very intriguing area to have new insights to actually studying human-specific uh, development. Everyone's cancer, everyone's diseases such as Alzheimer's, cystic fibrosis, all present a little bit differently. They all have a little bit different gene expression, protein expression, and that's something that we can really model in 3D. So I think 3D really enables us to work on this personalized medicine level. We're always trying to understand customers' pain point in order to develop tools to help them overcome those pain points. So that's what we're always trying to do is, what questions are you trying to ask? What is it that you need? And bring that back to the business in order to develop the tools that can support our customers.